What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today as you can tell by the title of this video we're going to be torture testing this rally car in Beam NG Drive. This is the Sherio FCV I'm pretty sure. Something like that, FCV. Let me just check. FCV, uh, gravel edition. And uh, today we're going to be just going through some series of tests with it and we're going to see how many times we can crash before the vehicle is just not going to work. I will not count a broken drive shaft because a vehicle is still running. Uh, when the vehicle stops and cannot start back up is when I count as the vehicle being properly destroyed. Even if the driver is dead, I'm still going to consider it as uh, not fully done. So anyway guys, leave a like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment, and let's get into this. Alright, so basically the first test is what can we do while we're drifting? How bad can we damage the car when we go through a bad, well, j just a minor drift crash. So say we hit a barrier. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was um bad. So you're going to go off the track there and you're going to hit the back of your vehicle. Now of course, with rally cars, they're meant for that. Let's check out the damage real quick. Basically all that happened here was we ripped off the back of the vehicle, well, back uh, bumper. Yeah, back bumper is all that got ripped off. A bit of dentage at the back there, but not too bad. Let's head back into the vehicle and let's try something worse. Or just completely just get stuck on a fence. That makes total sense. Uh, stick around to the end of the video where we're just gonna mess around with the with some fun settings, and we're just gonna and we're just gonna basically destroy the vehicle as much as possible. So up here, whenever I'm um, practicing my rally driving, I always miss this, and I always do that. This is that is annoying. When, when I'm trying to practice, but of course when I want to do it like this, it's pretty good because then again we get damage. So that was a jump crash. So now we're just going to go all out and see what we can do to the car and see how long it takes us to destroy the car completely. Jeez, that bumper really likes to hang on, doesn't it? Oh, does it still run? But, okay, car still, the car still runs. We lost the wheel, but the car still runs. We haven't broken a drive shaft yet, so we should be good on most of the things. Oh, goodness. This is going to be hard to control. I'm on keyboard and mouse, so no matter what, it's always hard to control in BMNG. Jeez. I can't counteract this balance either, so that's annoying. We don't have to stick to the rally course as well, so we're going to go around the whole of the map and see what we can do. Oh, there's the drift, of course. Okay, like I said, we're not going to stop doing this until uh, the car is just completely destroyed. There's going to be multiple series of tests. Oh, and okay. I wanted to flip the car back over, but I don't think it's going to work. And we flip our car back over to that side. Just flip it over. And we can ride. Not ride. Drive. Oh. And our radiator's leaking, so which means our vehicle's gonna overheat soon. And it's gonna die. So we're basically it's gone through a lot more than a normal car could be would be able to take. Let's go first person. And you can barely see because of the radiator leak. Oh god. And honestly, the drive would be completely fine, just having a hard time controlling the car. So just for now, okay, you know what? No, the series of tests we're going to take around the whole of the map. First one, of course, is the rally course. Next one is going to be the drifting course, which we passed by just before. 
yeah, you can already see our car is overheating. Oh, wait, no, the dial doesn't show one because I don't have that good of a setup yet. And, um, oh, oh, we, la we landed that? Nice. Oh, and, um, we're not landing this one. I think, I think we've just wrecked it. Yeah, we wrecked it. No, we haven't. We're still, wor we're still working. Flip it over, flip it over. I thought we did drive for a second, but no. Uh, we just stalled our, stalled the car for a second. Head back over to the rally. Okay, that's mud. I'm going to probably get bogged in that. And we're overheating. Okay, everything is overheating. We're going to start seizing up soon. Oil overheating. Yeah, we're going to start seizing up. Engine torque reduced. Head gasket damaged. <laughs> Rod bearings. Everything is going wrong in the engine. We're about to seize. Yep, and there it is. Engine locked up. So the vehicle, the, the rally car actually handled pretty well. It did end up dying in the end, but other than that, it was it's pretty good. All right. So the next part we're gonna be at the rally at the drifting course. All right, so we're at the drifting course now. It's basically just some abandoned old sheds here. This is the industrial map, by the way, guys. If you guys play Beam Engine and you're wondering what map, this is a stock map. This is not downloaded. Everything that I'm using is just from the game. I am going to get some mods soon, hopefully. And then I can showcase them. Uh, I could also... Mm, it's, ba it's really easy to mod. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to mod BeamNG, just leave a comment or suggest that in my server. Link in bio, by the way, guys. Alright, so basically, I'm... Um, yep, I just went around the map a couple of times, just getting used to it and seeing what we can do. We can do quite a lot. We can go through some of those sheds and, lit and mash up the car bad. So, yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so I know there's some places that I'm really going to mess up. Like, right there, we're already... <laughs> we're just in bad... Oh, wow. It's not that bad of damage. Nothing bad happened. We haven't really damaged vital parts of the car as of yet. And and the back's already mushed out pretty bad. I haven't touched the wheels yet. Although I think we will be soon. I I, I don't know right now. Um, we'll take that jump, actually, real quick. Check if I've got any steering problems. Kind of drifting off to the right. Shouldn't affect us too bad. And, and apparently crashing on the other side of the vehicle fixed that little drifting problem, apparently. The next torture test is going to be... So the last one was just basic crashing. This one is just drifting torture tests. Let's see what we can do. Uh, the next torture test is going to be a rev test. See how much we can rev the car before it blows up. So so right now, I don't think we're going to be able to do much while drifting unless if we drift into a thing at high speed. So let's just drive into something at really high speed. Okay, no. We've damaged something. I don't know what we damaged because we've just starved the car of oil. Don't know if I missed the oil pan or something. I think I may hit the oil pan. I don't know. Oop. Um. Seems to be the same rear wheel all the time. That we destroy. Let's see what a, what, You'll still be good in the, in the driver's seat. 
this car is just so damaged. Alright, so our induction system, so basically the whole of the turbo kit is now damaged. We're going to take the jump once more. And, oh, okay. We're damaging the engine now. Oh, oh, come on. We can still go, we can still go, we can still go. <laughs> yes, the car still works. Jeez, you can definitely see the difference between damage, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out of this dip. Oh, 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 okay. Landed, landed. Um, 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 okay, so the car's still working. Very hard to turn, though. Uh, one of our rear wheels are locked up. So basically, we're driving on front wheels right now. I think it's about time that we destroy it. Oh. And. Oh, I thought I wrecked it for a second. Oh, and we're not moving. Okay. Seems like the car's about to be fully done. The car may not be able, may still be able to run, but it's gonna be not be able to move soon here. So I, I, th I think we, I think this car is just done. That's not computable. All right. Okay, I'm gonna change the terms here. If it's not able to, and it's just dying anyway, so eh, I'm gonna count this. So yeah, th that's what happens when you just torture drift it to the, to the max. All right, the next one is gonna be rev test, so we can just do this right here. I'm gonna turn the vo game volume up so you guys can hear it. Maybe not that high. Um, okay. Alright, so this is going to be really loud. Uh, I don't know, actually. Whatever. Let's start, start revving it. You know what I just realized? Rally cars are gonna do much when they're revved because they're always at high revs. I'm an idiot. Alright, um. Alright, uh. Yeah, that was a fail. Uh, next we're gonna be heading over to, um. To another place, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, guys, so we made it to the next point. Uh, this is a grain farm or something. And the next test is how long can we do donuts? Without bursting a tire or anything. So let's start. This is an all wheel drive, so this is going to get crazy quick. So already we're going pretty fast, but I have done this before. We're already starving the engine of its oil. So, I mean, and I guess it is putting off a lot of power, including turbo. Because we're just sending it, doing all four tires at the same time, while well, just at the same spot, same velocity, same speed. We're overheating here. Well, yep, our coolant just went to overheat. So we're not. I don't know if we're gonna burst a tire, but I'd say the worst that we're gonna get is a is is a vehicle seizing because we're already overheating, and our vehicle is getting stuffed with oil real quick, and our turbocharger is now overheating. Yeah, I can definitely see that we're reducing in torque here. Oh, yeah, we're losing speed. You can now see smoke coming out of the back of the exhaust pipe and the engine. Oh, and we're locked up. That was really quick. That was really quick. All right. So now, if you made it this far in the video, guys, we're now on to the point that we're going to just have some fun and mess around. I'll see you guys at the point where we're going to mess around with it. I actually have one more thing I want to do, which is run into a, is just drive into a wall at full speed. And I know the perfect place. It's just down here. So we're going to be definitely going over 100 miles an hour here.
Hold on, what? I didn't do too bad, but I guess we do have a roll kit. Never mind, that came, that looks like it went through the windshield. Never mind. Um, yeah, engine's dead. No surprise there. But anyway, yep, okay, now I'll see you guys over at where we're going to be doing the fun testing. Alright guys, uh, you know what, the, the crash was just over there, but then I realised, well, we're going to be going up pretty high. Uh, so, anyway, the first thing is we're actually going to play around with some of these environmental setting, environment settings. I've used these before, and that is really fun. First thing is I want to go just zero gravity, and we're going to start floating upwards. Alright, so we're going up pretty high. And then, we're going to see what happens when we press the sun. Whack. I'm going to be surprised if this car will still run. What? The car started? We can't move, but the car started? That is definitely a surprise. That is a definite surprise. So anyway, next thing is we're just going to yeet the car back and forth like this. See what we're doing and we're going to just whack it into the... Oh. We've gone outside of the map. Oh, and now... Uh, okay, look at, look at all this. The car was on fire for a good couple of seconds. Next one is gonna be really fun. You're gonna have to give me a moment to set up here, guys. Alright, guys, and we're, we're set up. You can see that we're, this vehicle that we're using is a, is called the Ram Bus. It is still another stock vehicle found in the bus section. Um, it's got rockets, which we'll definitely be using. It's got a plow at the front, so that's gonna be really cool to see. And all the way down at the other end of the road, is our rally car so f right now we're gonna ram it without the um without the uh w without the jato so we're just gonna see what we can do at normal max speed it's not gonna be too much because the bus is pretty slow and very bad at speeding up Let's check out the car. Not too bad at all, actually. It's because we're going at like 30 miles an hour, so that makes sense. Okay, let's put this all the way back up here. Oh, crap. Don't want to do that. So anyway, yeah, guys. Um, Let's set this up again. And the end of today's video, we're going to be using the Jato and we're going to wreck this car once and for all. I'm going to go first person and let's go. T Jato has been enabled. Um, alright, so not only did we um wreck the bus... Let's just quickly put that back over here. So, <laughs> alright. And the car is dead. Car's dead. No fuel. Well, actually, no, we have a lot of fuel. Uh, it's dead. Alright, guys. That's going to wrap up today's video. We went through a lot of torture tests, and there was only one time that the car survived, and that was the... Actually, no, there were two times that the car survived. For some reason, it was the one that I went from uh, negative Earth to Sun, and somehow the uh, car still started. If the, if the wheels were round, that would possibly still like drive really slowly. And the rev test. We all knew that the... Well, I kind of knew that the rev test wouldn't do much because the rally cars are always focused around high rev. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video, and make sure you guys subscribe. 
like turn those personal notifications on join the discord server first link in the description below and until next time guys i'm gonna wrap it up see ya